Hello and welcome back to another Wolves Wednesday. I'm Tom Rouse and welcome to my channel. If you want to see any of the other Wolves Wednesdays, I think there have been four others so far where I've talked about the transfers, what Wolves need to do in the summer, player of the season and then last week I met with Dave as a party. This week I'm going to be talking about the season as a whole. It's not been a great season and looking back on it now it's probably been the worst season we've had since we got relegated from League One. But certain things you have to take into consideration before just saying get everybody out and this is terrible. We've had a massive shift in the club in the last 12 months. If you look, look back to July last year we didn't have any players. We had a really small squad, we didn't have a, an owner who was interested in the club and with about a month left of pre-season we found an owner and a very very wealthy owner and an owner promising big things for the future. Now I think what some fans fail to realise is that it's not as simple as that. You have to work at things, you have to be patient, you have to get a system in place, you have to get the people, you know, folks who need to get the people that they want into their new arm of their business and that's not going to happen immediately. This season has been about transition from Steve Morgan and Jez Moxie to Fosun and ensuring that we are still in the championship next season. If we'd have got promoted this season then that would have been amazing and we'd have been now in a financial position where we could go out and compete and buy players to keep us in the Premier League. But realistically this season with Newcastle and Brighton and Sheffield Wednesday and Fulham and all the you know teams who performed really well, Villa coming down as well, nobody knew how they were going to perform. Staying in the Championship was the ambition. Now I can already hear or read people in my mind in the comments saying that's not what we should be doing, we're Wolverhampton Wanderers. We are a team I've been supporting for 25 years or so, 20 years. And in that time, since I've been born, we've spent about five seasons outside of the Championship. Four in the Premier League, one in League One. We're a Championship team. We're a team that finishes traditionally between 4th and 10th. And this season has been slightly below average. We're going to finish about 15th, which, considering the upheaval in the summer and bringing in 14 players or whatever it was within a three week period I think is quite a good return considering what we went through. I'm not saying that that's what we should be doing. What we should be doing is looking towards next season and thankfully Paul Lambert has come out and said that they've got targets and they're working towards those targets already. I'm hoping that we're going to have signed two or three players by the end of May. I know that's probably wishful thinking but I don't see any reason why we can't be putting deals in place in May so that they can come in as soon as the transfer window opens. I think there's a lot of business to be done. We need a lot of strengthening in this team because it is a weak championship team. But if you look at the face of it, we've got players who have come through the academy and have come through League One and have cemented their place in the team. They've all been with us now for three or four years. They themselves probably feel a little bit stale and a little bit like they need a new challenge, particularly players maybe who have not got a connection to the club, an emotional attachment to the club. Like Danny Bart, he's a Wolves fan and he tries his hardest, but he's just not a good enough footballer for this, for the level that we were to be at. So it's a hard one, it's a tricky one, because you don't want to lose the connection that those players have got with the fans and the local area and the community and the understanding that they've got of the club by just bringing in 10 foreigners it's a fine balance and somewhere where we've been left behind by our rivals I think if you look at teams who have traditionally been lower than us like Bournemouth and Swansea and Burnley who are all now competing a division above us because they've gone away from thinking right well we're Swansea we must pick players who were born in South Wales and they must be Welsh They've gone away from that now. They had an influx of Spanish players and they got to the Premier League. We've stuck by these English players, these British players, get the ball to the wing, get the ball in the box. We need to move forward from that now. We can't play the football that the South Bank wants to see. At the end of the day, Wolves fans want to see Wolves at the top of the Premier League, challenging for European competitions and being basically where the Albion are. That's, we have, must be completely jealous of where the Albion are and they haven't got that through sticking with Jack Bryson, these young lads. They need to be pushed out now and we need to let 
Paul Lambert, give him a... Next season for me, for Paul Lambert, is a freebie. This season, he's done as, as good as he could do with a poor squad of players. Over the summer, he's going to be able to bring in whoever he wants to bring in. He's going to be able to set up the team in any way he wants to. And then, if this time next year we're still having the same conversation about us being stuck in the Championship, mid-table, rubbish, losing more games than we're winning, then he needs to be moved on. We, c we need to be patient with a manager. At the moment, since McCarthy left... We've been calling for every manager's head after they've lost two or three games in a row. The point of this video is if there's any Wolves fans watching this who often call for the manager to be sacked, who often slate the players, who slag off the players for not performing or not caring, I think we need to show a bit more patience towards the manager, towards the board, towards the players. There isn't going to be anybody in that football club who wants Wolves to be mid-table in the Championship. There isn't going to be anybody in that club who doesn't want Wolves to be promoted next season. They all get paid by the club. Whether they've got an emotional attachment to the club or not, it doesn't matter because they get paid a massive amount of money each week by the club to do a job. And if they don't do that job, then they get sacked, don't they? Or if they don't do that job, they won't get the move that they want to next. I understand that for some players, Wolves is a stepping stone to a bigger things. Look at the best players that we've had in the last 20 years, Robbie Keane, Joe Lescott, have all gone, both <laughs> both gone, to bigger clubs, to better clubs, because they're good players. We are mid-table championship team. Until we have investment and patience with the board and with the manager to be able to let them embed a system and a culture into a club, then we're always going to be this, because we're always going to hand out a manager after a couple of bad games. And we're always going to end up being what we are. That's why we keep staying where we are. <sighs> so anyway, that was a little bit rambling. This is going to be a nightmare to edit. But if you did enjoy it, if, and I'm sure, I hope that there's lots of opinions about this video as well. So please comment down below and I'll reply to as many as I can. I hope you've enjoyed it. Or I hope you've it's sparked some sort of debate. And that if you've disagreed with me, then write down below, please. I... That's what this channel is for, is for Wolves fans to come and to talk to each other and with me and whatever. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did as well, like it. Also, don't forget to subscribe because there's a Wolves Wednesday every Wednesday. And I'll see you next time.